Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we discuss a feature in just a few minutes. Today we're going to talk about drawing curves across database entities. For today's example, I have a half cylinder surface shaded in blue. Now, Right now, the view type is set to orthographic, which is the default. However, to really see what's going on, I'm going to change that to perspective. So go up to View, Set View Type, Perspective. Now, I think that's going to actually allow us to see a little bit better what's going on. Now, imagine yourself needing to draw a curve on a complicated database. You could always draw the curve along one of the primary planes and then project it onto the surface. Or, you could use one of the built-in toolbar curve types to accomplish the same task. Let's take a look at these. Click on the down arrow and you can see all the different line types, but we're interested in these two, line on database and curve on database. So go ahead and select line on database. This curve option creates a piecewise linear curve, so it's best used to create a line on a database along a constant parameter line. For example, let's build one along this edge of the cylinder. All right. It drew that along the uh, it drew that along the edge there. Let's pick this corner and that corner. And now notice that the new curve followed along the cylinder. All right? It followed all the way along the curve of the cylinder apply. The two lines that I just drew followed constant parameter lines. Okay. What about that other option up there? The curve on database. Well this allows you to draw a curve between any two points selected anywhere on the database. However, these resulting curves are cubic polynomials. Now they're defined either by Catmull ROM, ACMA, or Bezier control algorithms. And they're best used to draw a curve across parameter lines within a database. For example, pick any two lines I want, push apply, and note that that curve is actually drawn on that database. Now what if I pick something like complete opposite corners? Now this is interesting, push apply. That curve, it did draw it between those two corners, but it followed the curvature. It drew almost a helix shape. Look at that. And once again, that's defined by either Catmull, Rom, Akama, or Bezier, as defined over here. Thank you, and have a wonderful Tuesday.